Yeah, man. Yo, check this out, yo. It's Padre the Joe. What's going on, bro? I hope everything's good with you, man. But yeah, this story is hilarious. It's about it's about this priest. You see the song on my chest? This is the chorus of one of my songs. Lord, come to war with me. Help me defend myself and destroy my enemies. For they outnumber me and rose against me unjustly. Yo, I wrote the hook to this song in this church. This man built a church in my country with his own two hands, off the grid, solar power, everything, own water, the whole nine. Took him years to do it. He did it with his own hands and donations and whatnot. But yo, this guy's a Mexican dude. This guy's a Mexican dude. His name is Padre Joe, and uh, he speaks like my language better than me. You know, he speaks Romanian better than me. He speaks fluent Romanian. He's been in my country since the 90s, so he's been there for decades. But um, he's from Los Angeles. He's from East Los Angeles. He showed me all his, all his families in San Quentin and in, in like, I forgot, Folsom and all those places. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're heavy in the game and they're heavy with, you know, and he just didn't want that lifestyle. His whole family was in, like in the streets and whatnot. He didn't want anything to do with that. And he became a priest and whatnot. And he ended up in my country. And now he's a priest in my, in my country. And uh, yeah, he's cool. I don't know, my, my mother knew him somehow. And uh, yeah, he's cool. I went, I met him. I chilled at his church for a couple of days. And yeah, I wrote this song and this thing. He, he was doing a mass in my language, you know, but it's like orthodox style. And they'll be singing like whatever they say. And I just, this thing just came to me. So I just wrote it down before I forget. That's how all my songs are like. And I, I didn't write any of them really. Like they just came to me. Like boom, boom, boom. Or like I'll just feel nice and it just kind of comes to me though. I'll be doing some whatever and, and I'm like, oh, bro, you got to write that down before you forget it. And then I just go and I write it down before I forget it. And that that's how it happened, including this one. And it's called a word prayer song. It's the hook for it. But yeah, bro, it's crazy. It's a Mexican dude from East Los Angeles, East Los. You know, from some gangster family with the whole family and San Quentin and Folsom and all those places. And he's a priest in my country, speaking Romanian better than me. Like, it's the craziest story. And I ran into the guy. His name is Padre Joe. His church is in Timisoara. God bless you, bro. If I come down there, I'll come see you, you know? Hopefully, all's good. And, uh, yeah, bro, that shit was crazy. But yeah, I brushed shoulders with a lot of people in lots of places, bro. I lived in lots of places, went to lots of countries, worked in lots of places. I've been on my own in this world since my parents gave me when I was one years old. You know, that's how they got me in the street when I was three years old, because I was easy target. I seen documentaries and the, the guys, oh, why you get oh, after that kid and not the other kid? Oh, that guy has a father. No, I never go after kids to have a father. I go with the kids, single mothers, and no parents, because no one's going to come after me. Like, sick fucks, you know what I'm saying? And, and then these fucking guys have been trying to kill me my whole life and this and that because they see I'm motherless and fatherless in the street. And then these fucking clowns want to victim blame me. Oh, it's your fault. You did this and that. Nah, motherfucker. There's sick fucks out there preying on fucking helpless kids and fucking women and helpless kids and fatherless kids. It's a fucking fact. Don't fucking victim blame me, bro. But yo, things been good for decades. And that's what I was watching. You know, how you seen the videos on thing. I was doing good for time. And like, last year, I was twice as good last year. And I've been good for many years. Like, I just haven't been making videos, you know. I wasn't liking the place I was living, so I, you know, I didn't want to make videos there and whatever. And I don't care about making videos. But I was on York Mills for the second time, the first time. That second, like years ago, there was beautiful right before the Cuba thing. That same fucking piece of shit never work a day in her fucking life as a real job. Like, oh, you're never on York Mills. When when were you ever doing good? I've been doing good for twenty fucking something years. I paid the rent in fifty something fucking places. Never late. Like. I've been doing everything they been, she's been doing with her husband's money. I've been doing with my own money since like 10, 15, 20 years before she left her mother's house, bro. Like, these guys want to talk down to me and, oh, like, I, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking no, don't ever speak down to me, bro. Don't, I, like, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it, especially when you guys are some fucking clowns. And, like, they haven't worked a day in their fucking life. They don't know how to wipe their fucking ass they don't know shit about shit and then they want to talk down to me because because oh i went to university for 25 grand yo bro that 600,000 500 i spent on rent could have paid like 20 universities bro 100 universities bro if you do the math like i'm not even doing the math right now i'm like i been smoking weed but bro like these guys are fucking clowns don't fucking talk down to me when i've been fucking working never flipping burgers since you're a fucking little kid in your mother's house you fucking little fucking clowns bro want to talk down to me and i like expect me to take it because what fuck out of here but yeah i was just on york mills for the second time and yo you know what i mean every time i do good hyenas just get so fucking angry while, while they're out there 
can't can't even pay the fucking rent on time. No food to eat. I'm there eating steaks every day. I have fucking boxes of steaks on boxes, bro. Giving I give out steaks, bro. That's how much steaks I have. I'm giving out steaks, giving out drinks. Motherfuckers don't have a drink or a steak if they went to buy it. I'm giving them out like it's fucking Christmas every day. You know? Like that's how I am though, bro. Things are good for me. I share. Like that's how I am. Like it's better to have and be able to share with people than, than to have nobody to share with. Or, or you know what I mean? That's the worst. And just people just want to rob you or like, like you have no one to share with. Like you go out by yourself, you're just a target because oh look he has money. Like you're just there by yourself at the table by yourself. Everyone at the table has a people. You're just you're the only guy at the table by yourself. I did that shit by myself in a million countries. Not I mean, like twenty countries or fucking thousands of places, hundreds of cities. I'm always the only guy at the table by himself. It's like what's the even point? You don't have nobody to fucking share with. Anybody just probably wants to stick you because oh look at the guy, he must have money if he's at the table by himself with buying bottles. And like, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's worthless to have money if you don't have nobody to share with, bro. Straight up, like money is not everything. I love my money too. When I was young, I thought money was the only thing, but money is not the only thing. Health is wealth, health is better. Time is better, youth is better. There's a lot of love is better. There's a lot of things you can't buy. Respect you can't buy. Yo, you, you can't buy a lot of things. The things you can't buy, that's what's important. All the stuff that's a price tag is worthless. Even little fucking clowns and everybody and their mother could buy it if they have that amount of money. That means it's worthless. These guys are child molesters, they could buy it. What, they're, they're gangsters and this and that, or cool or whatever, because they have what, Lamborghinis and they don't even have a Lamborghini, but <laughs> Lamborghini, but like, bro, like child molester could buy that if he has the right amount in his bank account. That doesn't, you know what I mean? You're still a child molester. You just, you're a child molester in a Lamborghini or in a Ferrari. You're still a child molester though. Like your actions make you who you are. Your things don't make the man. Man makes the things. You know what I'm saying? You're a child molester. You're a lying piece of shit. You're still a lying piece of shit. You could, you could have all the fucking for Ferraris and Rolls Royces and Jets and you're still a lying piece of shit snake. You're like still a weasel. You know what I mean? No one's going to respect you. Like nobody loves you. You're a fucking piece of shit. So it's like money's in everything, bro. Like, I love my money too, but it's not everything. And uh, yeah, man. That's it, bro. You guys have a good day, man. I got you know, too much, too much information for you guys. But that's what's going on, man. You guys take care. Peace.